Hey guys, um, this is the first in a series of beginner lessons. Um, they're sort of common things that I get asked a lot about in lessons and um, the first one is to deal with how we use this pick. Um, often a lot of players struggle with the fact that <clears throat> when we're playing it feels very much like we're not controlling the plectrum early on. Um, sometimes we'll drop it um, and sometimes it feels like you're getting caught on the strings too much. So this is a really simple trick that um, I think every player should practice from an early stage rather than come into it a little bit later. Um, so the idea is to just be conscious about how much you're pinching your plectrum. So often players will drop their pick a lot, but to co sort of compensate for that, they pinch it even harder. And when you come to strum, you obviously get this kind of thing where you get stuck on the string, and then it kind of pushes through very violently. Um, and obviously when we're doing upstrokes, that can feel like you can snap the string off or something. So the way to practice it is if you put your your, your pick on the sixth string and just let it fall on the string, and loosen your grip until you find that the plectrum just folds under the weight. So it ends up kind of pointing t towards the floor. And you see how it just rolls across the strings. But what didn't happen was I wasn't obviously holding the pick like this and then rotating my wrist to compensate for the movement. Because obviously when I come up, my pick's in a very odd shape at the moment and I have to return my wrist to this, which then causes this very odd sort of rotating wrist thing which is not what we want so we want to keep it nice and smooth and just let the plectrum move for us and then when I come back up you notice the plectrum is doing the same thing it moves with the strings and you notice you get a very a very clean smooth sound across all strings rather than this kind of like clunky thing that we're not in quite a lot of control of. So very simple little technique. Um, you probably will find you'll drop your plectrum more if you try this now, um, but the idea is that obviously you find that balance between the thumb and the finger, or if you prefer, you can always put your, your, your middle finger behind the plectrum as well so you get a bit more control behind it as well. Now that's obviously the final thing with that is that you get a lot of volume um, by sort of playing around with just how much you're holding that, that pick as well. So I'm not saying to always hold it too light, but as long as you give it a little bit of movement, if I just pinch a little bit harder, you can hear a big volume change, but my wrist didn't bring the volume by pushing through. It was much just the the pinching of the plectrum very slightly, but never over pinch so you get to that point where you're, where you're getting stuck on the string um, up or down. So loosen your grip and don't be afraid to drop it.